this episode, man, uh, I liked it. Why. it. It was good, but like, I liked it I because it was f- setting up a lot of shit. It was. It, uh, but... Oh yeah, and shit is part of the Star Wars uh, universe now. So what? Thank you for that. That's the, Explain the, the last episode. The last episode was the first time they ever said shit in like an oh, official, yes. Yes. like media of Star Wars. I thought you meant like the actual like, you know. Yeah. No, the you actual this, word this, is this thing just just had feces canonized. Yeah, feces is now canonized. Why would I focus on that? In, in, instead of uh, Obi Wan saying everyone bleeds, everyone shit, everybody. Bleeds. Welcome back, everybody, to the Kiai Court Podcast, season fucking, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is the fourth episode of, of Andor, our second episode of the season. Yes, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, you can see that. that Jordan, yeah. Well, I mean, it's hard to get, it's confusing to some people, so like, I'm uh-huh. glad that you remember. Um, it's confusing to me. You, you know, I wasn't calling you out or anything, but. Yeah, I was like, what the, what does that mean, Kanye West? <laughs> Thank you, um, Kanye. Very cool. Um, there's not going to be much to talk about in this episode, uh, other than the fact that we got to see some armor. Well, not really the armor, but more or less the headpiece. The headpiece belonging to... Um, the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian's coming back for this season. Well, um, that, well no. That that was the chest yep, every, and armor every piece. Single... Those were actual Beskar Mandalorian armor pieces, but I'm talking about the helmet in the corner that belonged to uh galen malik there it is yeah was that his armor that wasn't the chest the um the headpiece the helmet was actually his well i mean okay it's not his it's like it's it's in lore it's generalized just called a uh, a sith assassin helmet (laughs) but you know the armor that went along with the helmet in that shop was not part of I it. I don't remember that helmet being a thing. It was in a DLC for... Uh... I did get the DLC. Yeah, that you didn't even need to get the DLC for that. That that was an unlockable thing at the end. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, you could play it on like a new game plus type of shit, and like you were able to put on that outfit. Uh, let's see. It's here. not canonizing him either. I just want people to know that. It, oh, it's gonna be canonized. Don't you worry. No, the dude is way too OP. Don't uh, give me that you... shit. Too OP? Did you not see Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker? Can you be okay? Be honest, right? How are you going to canonize somebody that supposedly defeated Darth Vader and Palpatine? And mm-hmm. and well, I mean, I guess you wouldn't count the uh, the DLC games as like canon. Just more of like oh yeah, hundred percent because because you 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 turned Luke to the dark side and <laughs> slaughtered his friends. Of course, you wouldn't count that as canon. I mean, it's kind of that'd be like a breaking. Star Wars what if. Star Wars um, what if uh, Anakin actually got a like a decent job? <laughs> what okay, if I see became... it now. See, see the spikes were kind of fucking me over. Yeah, the, I, I, where, I, where, like where were the spikes? Were they on the yeah. shoulders? Spikes were on the head, bro. No, they didn't have spikes on that head. Well, that's exactly show? my point. Yeah, in the show. I didn't see it. Oh, maybe you did. I'm going to put a side-by-side side by side view, but anyways. But yeah, no. I, yeah. They're not yeah, canonizing that's... him. People don't need to. I mean, they're listen, going to. Listen, if they, if, they, if they go and do that, then that's fine. Like, just let them do it on their own time. Can I survive her, dude? That I would accept because it's like a brand new thing. It would be uh, like a brand new um, way for them to introduce, re-officially introduce him. I mean, did they even canonize like the first game? No, no, right? It was because like the events of the first game couldn't really like order up with like the rest of the shit really with it working because like the ending to it was um, it was two different endings. There was one where he died. And everyone else survived, and like, oh, they made you choose. I hate those kind of games. Not gonna yeah, they, well, they, dude, they made you choose on both games. I, I don't, you, you never played them all the way through. Them, the the Jedi Survivor is not even out yet. 
No, 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 no. I'm talking about the Force Unleashed. Oh, I'm talking. Yeah, no. Now I know. What you're talking oh, about. you're talking, talking about, about. I'm pretty Fallen sure. Order. I'm pretty sure it's canonized. Oh, seriously? Okay. I like. That's... I don't think there's any reason for it not to be. Right. That'd be pretty cool if it was. I mean, because I'm sure like everyone just kept referencing with uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and, and the whole, you know, <laughs> yeah, Temple Inquisitorius. I... <laughs> you know that that was such all... a stupid. That's a stupid fucking name. It's so funny. It's you can't deny that Fortress yeah, Inquisitorius George... is hilarious. It's hilarious, but it's 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 like some George Lucas shit. It's hilariously stupid. Yeah, I remember seeing when George Lucas George came Lucas, in, just he. he... Go on. Go, you go ahead. You're going to say he, he, he came in. He came in um, during like the Star Wars Force Unleashed like uh, studio. And he's like, he saw the design for Galen Malik or rather um, Starkiller. Starkiller. And he said, his name is Darth. <laughs> it's Sanatorius. <laughs> and they just laughed and he, and he did not laugh back. He was being fucking serious. He left and he forgot about it. And that's the only reason why they're able to name him the way he was because George Lucas just forgot about that shit. That's he funny. had another ridiculous name, but it's Sanatorius was really like what stuck to me. And then he had another one where um, he had Darth Talon and Darth Maul like be friends, <laughs> even though that they were like two centuries apart. Oh, yeah. And he said, and he said that like Darth Maul was like a clone of himself huh? made yeah hold on let me l let me look I, we, we all know oh. that like darth maul's around like 35 bby and he died around like within, ah, the, shit, within the next like 10 bby i'd say yeah i was gonna say um so let's see where darth talon is what generation would have darth talon been the high republic is darth darth talon's that that twi'lek right she is a red we like tattoo that's, that's what i thought because some of these suggestions are coming up using masculine pronouns so i i wasn't sure if i was getting the right name but yeah i i know i'm talking about the right person though darth talon was a female something something twi'lek known as a sith lady known to, who became a sith lady in whatever whatever blah 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 in 137 aby that's what i thought what after been, like, the battle of yavin after yeah oh you said bby though Darth Maul was I th I thought, but that would make sense because they said that Darth Maul was a clone of himself, Excuse which means me? it happened after all that shit. Wait, so so wait, Darth okay, Darth Talon was was like in 137 ABY. Oh oh ABY, I heard yes. ABY come out of your mouth. Now, so, okay, so Darth Maul was probably, I'm saying roughly around, like, 35 BBY. That's when he was born? But he, he, he died, not when he was born, no. But he died around, like, between 20 Good and, time. he died somewhere between, like, 20 and, like, I'd say 5, probably. Um, but Obi-Wan was kind of old, so I'll give it between, like, 10 and 5 uh, BBY. That's when he died. Um, five years before, that gives, before the battle of Yavin. Let's let's just stop guessing and see what he fucking. I was gonna say that sounds pretty too. That sounds like that's around now. <laughs> well, what's to stop it from happening in Andor right now? I mean, you're really. That would have been like, I mean, because you got to think like Solo was, was what four, five years? No, Solo was way young. I I I would love to put together a chart with just like the the years on all of these movies i mean i know the order that you're really supposed to watch them in but at the same time i'm like this would be really good uh you know because um in the beginning we we find out later later on of course i found out online <laughs> um that the beginning uh little snippets that you see in in andor where he is a kid that is in the very early stages of the empire obviously um but it's still in like the clone wars era um they shut down all the battle droids yeah it's 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 around 
I mean, because we don't even know how Lee is right now. He looks at least maybe in his early 30s, maybe early 40s. But, you know, uh, not not to even go into the depth that is, like, how long the Clone Wars lasted. Wasn't it, like, three to seven years, five to seven years Clone Wars lasted? About so, I think. Yeah, so... So I have an answer when Darth Maul died, like, more so narrowing it down because I couldn't get a a very pinpoint of when this shit happened. Go ahead. Because I got a whole different thing about him getting shot in the head or some shit. I don't what? Know what yeah, <laughs> if, I, if, I if know. If Darth Maul is a clone, then um, I, I'm I'm just going to throw out all my Star Wars books. So, so, in, so in that unreleased video game that was based around Darth Maul, he right. was going to be a clone. <laughs> Um, because he died in between five BBY and zero BBY, huh. because that's when my uh, rebels start at. It says here it begins in five BBY before the Battle of Yavin, depicted in A New Hope, and ends in zero BBY. Oh, you know what? So y- you know since what? Darth Talon is one hundred thirty-seven years after this man's died. Had to be a clone. That would explain the cloning. No, you, you realize my idiot self was thinking to when he got sliced in uh, Phantom Menace. <laughs> I'm so tired. I, I For some I reason, too, I'm just like, wait, he got killed by Obi-Wan way earlier. And then I remembered, dude, holy crap, just fucking kill me. Yeah, no, you're, he ignites you're correct. double... He ignite, he ignites his double bladed lightsaber and engages Obi Wan in a duel. Obi Wan yes. then beats him in combat, cutting off his opponent's horns. I don't. Maul is that. killed by blaster fire, sorry, blaster bolt to the head from Owen Lars. Obi Wan thanks Owen and says he will take Maul's body to the desert and burn it. Was that was that a? I think that was a sign of respect. I think by the end of everything, Obi Wan like ended up respecting him or something. Well, yeah, but like my my point is, I mean, they they, they are victims of the same person, <laughs> right? In, in a way, but my my thing is, since since we keep we we have all this like legend shit, <laughs> and we're just we're just throwing shit at the wall sometimes, Disney. We don't know what the hell's going on. That does sound like a legends thing. Because it, well, it's definitely not canon, because I'm pretty sure Rebels is canon. That's not what happened to Rebels. Granted, something similar happens in a way. Kinda. But that's not what happened. <sighs> it's like in like Rebels season, the new the new season. Technically, uh, Ahsoka, the Ahsoka show is going to be all about uh, Rebels. It's going to be like their season five, technically. So it's like in season five, you get some new footage of like Owen Lars just shooting them all in the head. Back in like season two of Rebels, when you saw their, their last duel, they're just rewriting history. They can't keep getting away with that. This episode, man, uh, I liked it. Lie. it. It was good, but like, I liked it I because it was f- setting up a lot of shit. It was. It, uh, but... Oh yeah, and shit is part of the Star Wars uh, universe now. So what? Thank you for that. That's the, Explain the, that. the last episode. The last episode was the first time they ever said shit in like an oh, official, yes. yeah, like media of Star Wars. I thought you meant like the actual like, you know, yeah. No, the you actual this, word this, is this thing just just had feces canonized. Yeah, feces is now canonized. Why would I focus on that? In, in, instead of uh, Obi Wan saying everyone bleeds, everyone shits. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would quit. I would quit. There's so much bad <laughs> writing. Like well, I don't get everyone like, shits. Like, is like, is there that? That reminds me of the bad writing of Cold War. And I know this is this is off topic, sort of, but like not. But like how one character said to another character, he said, "Oh, gotta be quiet, Woods." He said, "I'm a fucking onion, Mason." <laughs> what the. F- Fuck his head. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's that's real? I thought that, that is, was fake. Dude, no. It's an actual thing. I played through the campaign, bro. That's an actual thing. 
he said a different word that I'm, I'm not gonna say in this house, but yeah, he said he said that he was an onion in response to you gotta be careful. We got I gotta be quiet, Woods. I'm a fucking onion, Mason. <laughs> I swear, dude, that that was a. I had to pause for a second when that shit happened. I'm like, did he just fucking say that? I'm a fucking onion, Mason. What the fuck does that mean, Mason? The onions. <laughs> Where no, wait, are no, they? Hold on. Now, now, now I gotta know what it means. The onions, Mason. He's saying he has layers. Responding to the guy is that is oh, layers. Basically, calling him a stealth man. He's replying that he could do both. Basically, what was it that was it? I love this response. <laughs> I'm like an onion mason. I have layers versus I'm an onion mason. Shit game is shit. <laughs> oh man. You think it's because he's silent and makes grown men cry? <laughs> so no one really knows. There's just over speculation of, of he could do multiple things at the same time or some shit. Anyway. I was a little confused, uh, you know, at certain points trying to just figure out you know the whole thing with the group of people because remember the guy said that there was like seven of us now or the girl said there's now seven of us i was like there's only like i've only got six you know and i was thinking maybe they were talking about uh what's his face you know um that yeah. that that um put the whole team together basically and i was like no that can't be it um, but that guy is definitely like a senator or something. Uh, but obviously, you know, I, I, that's what I thought. And then he, you know, he's actually a shopkeeper on Coruscant. And um, what he does is he's got a very good connection uh, with an actual senator. And she is the money behind this whole little organization, which I want to feel like is the beginning of uh, the rebellion, if I want to say that. I, I mean, I don't know how you feel about it. How do you feel about it? That, that's just what I feel. Uh, the Rebellion's already kind of established in a way because they did mention that, like, like multiple different names about, like, a small terrorist group in a way. Oh. Um, they're, they're, they're fighting against the Empire. Like, Andor <clears throat> called them multiple different names. Um, and the dude said, yeah, that's they're all the same, really. I mean, we're, you know, we're, we're fighting the good fight. He's like, man, that's fucking stupid. Um... <laughs> But no, the 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 rebellion's kind of already established. This is just more so like Another within this same like group. in a way. I, I I feel like I feel like the rebellion was always like a scattered type of thing. Like yes, later on they became like a military force, but like it was always just like kind of like a scattered like you know people with a with a same ideology uh, fighting against oppression. Um, That's a good way to. Look and at in some it. ways. Yeah, and it's and in some ways you can't really like put certain people like on the rebellion, like the people from Solo, like they technically weren't part of the rebellion, but they were against the Empire. Um, you know, not everyone's part of part of the rebellion, like the actual main rebellion, but these people are, and I feel like it's just a certain um, what's the word? Um, it's like the genesis in a way, where it's the beginning. Um, it's within the beginning of the rebellion, but you know, it's not the the beginning. During the uh, Rogue One movie, would you say that it was more militarized by then, or it was still scattered? Um, a little bit mix of both, because I feel like, well, no. I mean, I obviously there's always like scattered factions here and there, but it was definitely more militarized by then, because because mm -hmm. you you think about Rogue One. Like, I don't think there's a whole lot you could go off of with Rogue One because they're their overall, like, military unity. Um, because, yes, there is a military force, but you don't really see, like, you don't see evidence that everyone is a part of this shit. I mean, like, they, they literally pulled, like, a ragtag group, from, like, multiple different areas. Like, they got, like, a blind Jedi and, his, and this one dude. And they're like, okay, cool. We're taking you. Um, we're taking this criminal. We're taking this other criminal. We're taking this robot. So it, it, you know, it was kind, it was kind of scattered in, in a way, but they still were, not, they, they were still a, uh, a military uh, force, and you could see it. It leads all the way up into a New Hope, which by the end of a New Hope, there was a whole military attack um, on the Death Star. Mm -hmm. So, 
Um, yeah. And I think there was a, there was another like wasn't there a ground front or was that just like did they ever? No, there, there was never actual like land battle on Yavin. Mm -hmm. I think they, they it just was always escaped just Yavin. above. Did, did they escape Yavin? Like, isn't that like what? No, the base was I on Yavin. Remember. Oh yeah, okay. Um, now that I remember it. So yeah, there there was no ground war really, but at the same time, yeah, they they were established military by like by the end of that movie, or the, at least they showed themselves to be established military. By the right. End. So in a way, yes, but in, a, in other ways, they were also like grabbing random shit and throwing it at the Empire. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just thought maybe they were trying to, maybe they were like the beginning of it. But, but you, you know, here it is. It's just another group of uh, rebellion people. Um, I, I, I do find it interesting how many people were actually in on this, though. Uh, because you have that one dude that we saw at the very end. I don't think we got a name. Um that African guy, he, we saw him at the, uh, the Imperial Baru, I think is what it was called. It was some new building. Burrow? Burrow? I, I must be pronouncing it wrong, but, um. It's Baru sounds weird to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> so, he was Baru? in charge of, uh. Hit Baru! Shut up. He was in charge of, um. Damn, he was in, he was in. What? He was in Baru? <laughs> <laughs> holy shit dude uh, he was in charge of something you know going on with that planet that got uh started with an f help me out here frox how do i i'm gonna go to the episode i'm gonna actually frox <laughs> It did you will die. Increase in our black line budget. And where would you oh, target these new resources, Supervisor Grandi? Increase surveillance, sir. Looking for what? Expect specifics by the end of the day. On the ministerial. The Griffins providing useful analysis. Security is an illusion. Well, don't serve a warranty. Those the traffic. So they were on the planet Aldini. <laughs> <laughs> Then, they go to the planet. Therix. Okay, well, let me get back to the thing. Yeah. We can almost we can almost be done with this one. Um, so that, that guy that was at the, uh, Barrow, is that how you pronounce it? Barrow? Burrow. Burrow. Uh, he was it's in charge, Burrow. he was in charge of, uh, the planet Ferrix <laughs> and yeah. like everything that was going on, like damage reports and everything that was going on there. Um, and, and he was really trying to keep hold tightly of that because, uh, the, the one girl with the, the blonde hair woman, she was just like all up in arms because she was like okay that you know something that she was covering had to deal with that planet and she was like okay i want the uh i f they found a box that's <laughs> yeah yeah that's right they they did yeah. end up scavenging or uh taking that um that imperial uh chip um and and, and then that's just kind of where they went haywire and they were like all right we need to figure out what's going on quick uh, this is my department. I want these, the paperwork and everything for this planet, and just like everything, damage reports. The paperwork all. for the planet. Yeah, paperwork just, for the planet. It's the title indeed for a fucking planet. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense. I mean, it's not like it'd be crazy. I'm sure they, you know. The Empire owns everything. Yeah, they just got. The Empire is kind of like Disney right now. Um. Um. But that one goes fucked up. What? Skit that I saw recently it was what? fucking. Did they ever unfreeze Walt Disney? Yeah, but it was a bad idea. <laughs> and you see, there, there, was, there was a scene where Walt Disney was getting unfrozen. Uh -huh. no. And then and then he was like, oh, what year is it? Oh, it's 2019, sir. Are the Jews gone? Are the no. Jews gone? <laughs> Close himself back in. <laughs> no, no. My, I was my like, favorite, shit. 
My favorite was, uh, you guys got fucking black people working here. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. And he sees, he sees his own. Oh dude, imagine what you feel like about, about the little mermaid. Black Little Mermaid. What? There's the Asian guy. Did you get lost? There's an Asian guy with a black face. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. There's an Asian guy with a black face. Um. And and he's like, Mom, she's just like me. I'd have to find it. It was really bad. No. It was really bad. Oh no. Um. Not not being hated by the minorities and the whites. And the whites. Now all of China knows that you are here. Now all of China hates you. Um <laughs> There was one time where I accidentally shouted to like a whole area about like in Final Fantasy fourteen. This one guy was staring at my ass. And I said, Hey, stop staring at my ass and like all of all of Gridania heard me. <laughs> Everyone in the forest just saw that shit. <laughs> Because so I didn't know how else to tell him. Because like this is like again, it's my first MMO, uh-huh. and I didn't know like how telling works. I didn't know how saying works, so I just put that shit on on shout. <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm sure he'll hear me if I shout it. So I typed it, and then <laughs> Jaden was like, "Dude, you you realize you said that to the entire like this whole region of the area, right? Like every player in any part of Gridania heard you." That's funny. I got banned off a of WoW one time because I uh, I made a uh, a sticky a hotkey that just said yeah. hi and shout, and then I just decided to fly from one end of the map to the other, and I just kept spamming that shit. And somebody uh, I I flew over a um, over a city. I had to go oh no, not the, city. not the Discord mods. I had to go through the city to go to the other end of the map, and uh, that's when I got banned. <laughs> Somebody reported me. <laughs> I was reported for like 24 hours. Ah, jeez, bro. Ah. That was funny. I was like nine. No. Yeah, maybe. You're a dying plan? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and then I stopped around like 12 or 13. Yeah, come to think of it. Um. Yeah. Anyways, uh, real quick. Wow. And then you never started on the old Republic. Yeah, I haven't downloaded. Like, I want to play it, but it's just like, I don't know why I don't. You don't play tonight? Uh, I cannot tonight, dude. I'm, like, barely surviving right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I think uh, this weekend it's supposed to rain. I think we can try this weekend if you're free. I should be. When I'm do doing start? something. I'm, uh, Monday. Okay. What were you going to say? You were going to say something else? I do something with like Anthony on Saturday, but like I'll, I'll still be here like during late hours. Oh, okay, so yeah. Um, what's I gonna say? Anyways, um, anyways, yeah, he was he was really trying to uh, hold tightly of those documents, um, mm-hmm. and then come to find out later in the episode, he's like part of this team, uh, this little rebellion, if you will. Um, so it kind of made sense why he was so uptight about everything and kind of secretive. Um, but for, for what's his face, the, uh, the main guy f- for him to be, um, like a shopkeeper, it was pretty interesting. And mm-hmm. and then I guess maybe that's how maybe he... he's like a shopkeeper of like high end shit. Yeah. It looks like it was, um, I yeah. mean, like, like like maybe only senators go there or just like the upper class. I mean, he has a shop in the upper levels. So that alone should tell you like what he's about and what he sells. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about just like the mid levels. I'm talking about like the upper levels. Like he gets to see sunlight. Apparently, um, there's like a chart. Like, like if you were in like, like in season seven, of uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, where Ahsoka was, that was like the like deepest parts of Coruscant. You know, like like apparently in Coruscant they built like an entire like level above the original level, ground level that was uh, Coruscant, and, yeah. and that's where the people live on the 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 new top level. So like 
like you're below just like the old base level like that's like poorer than poor so like he's got some like real like high-end stuff that and, and i'm guessing like he just uses that money for his people because because he was already asking that one senator for like money and she was like she's being watched by people you know like they're watching her spending they're trying to figure her out um people people gotta really be careful or else you know someone's gonna get killed um so it's kind of like everyone's on edge everyone's you know having to really like tiptoe around everything um but it definitely is setting up something so like uh you know all of a sudden he brings um andor onto his ship to um set up some type of heist uh, i'm not sure what it is but uh, we're 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 robbing they the the are robbing an army oh that's right yeah yeah, yeah. we did figure that out yeah they they're robbing uh a uh, military base i think is what they said for like mm -hmm. armor and uh guns mm -hmm. um what what they plan to do next after that i'm not quite sure i'm not i'm not even sure what the main premise of the show is yet other than just eventually it's going to lead into rogue one um so i don't know I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to lead into rogue one i feel like it's just a um like a criminal type of or, or not criminal but like crime and maybe like how we got to start and everything. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I remember you made the comment you were like everyone's gonna die, and he's gonna be like the only one left. Like the way they started like name it off, like everyone's names and everything. Uh, yeah, that's that dude. <laughs> he's cool. You know, has, you know whatever. <laughs> <He's cool. laughs> like they, they didn't bother with any titles. They were just like, that's John. That's Jake. That's Joseph. Yeah, they didn't really like, make it memorable. They just kind yeah, of just they're like... they're going to die. <laughs> like they they are they are going they're going to die. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure what they're setting up for like the whole premise of the show. I still I feel like it's going to be something you know actually like meaningful, and it's not just going to be some dumb show about some character that dies. You know, uh, I don't know. There's got to be some type of importance here. Maybe it leads into a different show. I don't know. They've got so many things lined up now. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, I mean, that's just me. Uh, do you have any theories or anything? Uh, except for the fact that I think everyone's going to die? No, not really. No. Did you have, like, a favorite part in this episode? My favorite part. Um... I can't really even say that there was. Yeah, it was just kind of like, yeah. Yeah, that much I don't know. I think we're probably going to cut this episode short. Uh, it was cool to see that armor piece, the headpiece, uh, Mandalorian armor. That was cool for me. Um, nothing really stuck out. Uh, nothing really stuck out. But anyways, thanks for listening. Anyways, guys. Uh, you know where to find us at twitch.tv slash hotpocket61 and twitch.tv slash King. Tristan's got his dubby. Oh yeah, so if you go to w.gg and you use the uh, promo code CORPKING, that's C-O-R-P-K-I-N-G, you'll get 10% off of your dubby um, purchase. They, they're energy drinks, but they also recently dabbled into like electrolyte stuff. Um, so like to hydrate you. So like you know i'd definitely give it a try it's pretty tasty i ain't gonna lie to you sounds good have to try it out well, anyways guys thanks for listening and we'll see you next time <laughs>